Hello dear students, this is problem number 22 of chapter 4 of Engineering Mechanics Statics 9th edition. This is the loaded truss in which they determine the forces in each member of the loaded truss. Of this truss we will determine the force of this member, this member, this member, this all member we will determine all the forces in this all member. So this is the load this is a 10 degree this is a tension cable which exert tension force which uh, by which this load okay so this is a 10 degree and this is also a 10 degree with x axis first of all we need to find this alpha and this alpha let's say it is alpha this alpha this alpha so you know that a tangent alpha equal to uh, opposite side divided by adjacent side so tangent so let's say i will take this alpha tangent alpha alpha opposite side is 7 feet and adjacent side is 8 feet so 7 divided by 8 if you calculate this uh, alpha will equal to 41.19 degree okay so now the uh, second thing is that uh, for example let's say th this load exact tension force on this string so i can say that the, the tension in this uh, cable equal to the l t equal to l because uh, how much this load the uh, the tension exact will uh, as it is in this cable so l is in rope equal to weight of the loads okay uh, L so now I take joint A to find the force in member AB and AG okay because there is only two unknown forces AB and AG so summation of all vertical force acting on this joint equal to zero AB sine alpha so AB uh, I take its vertical component ab vertical component so the vertical component of ab is equal to ab sine alpha negative t which is this t negative t sine i will take the vertical component of this t so negative t sine 10 this is 10 degree okay this is 10 degree equal to zero i will not take this uh, load this force because it is not in vertical direction it is in horizontal so a b will equal to t plus t sine 10 divided by sine alpha so i say that t is equal to l so l plus l sine alpha sine uh, 10 divided by sine 41 point alpha is equal to 41.19 degree so a b will equal to 1.782 l which is intention that this positive sign show that my assumption was right it is intention no summation of all horizontal forces acting on this joint joint a equal to zero so ag which is the this horizontal force positive ag and the oh, horizontal component of this force ab cause alpha so ab cause alpha plus t cos 10 horizontal component of this t so t cos 10 equal to 0 ag will equal to this is all known to us uh, that's why i move it to the right side so ab cos alpha negative t cos 10 degree so ag is equal to negative at the place of ab i put here 1.782 cos 41.19 negative l cos 10 okay at the place of t i write l so ag will equal to negative 3.326 l which is uh, in the negative sign so that my assumption was wrong it is not intention it is intention in, intention uh, so it is not intention it is in compression so i was assumed that this force is the force in joint ag uh, in member ag is equal to uh, contention but it's not intention it is in compression now i will take joint g to find 
the forces. So the summation of all horizontal forces equal to zero. So AG, which is this horizontal force, negative AG, plus FG, which is this horizontal force, negative T cos uh, 10, positive T cos. The horizontal component of, of this T and the horizontal component of this T. So the T is cancelled, T cos 10 is cancelled with the T cos 10 because one is negative, one is positive, it cancels without with each other equal to 0. So FG will equal to AG, the value of AG is uh, 3.326. So I put the AG value uh, 2. Point, sorry, it is 3.326. Uh, uh, which is in compression. So summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint G equal to 0. So 2 sine because this is the vertical component both vertical component of T is uh, directed upward. So T plus T uh, sine 10 and plus T sine 10 2 T uh, sine 10. Okay, plus BG equal to 0. So BG will equal to negative. I, I move to the right side. That's why it's negative. No, 2T sine 10. So I say that, I can say that T is equal to L. So BG is equal to 2L sine 10. So if I calculate my calculator 2 into sine 10, so it will comes to 0 0.347 L which is in compression this negative sign show that it's not in tension it is in compression now i take joint b to find forces uh, in member which is connected with the joint b i assume that all the forces in this uh, joint are in tension okay uh, i is only assume that so i just assume that so summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero. So negative AB sine alpha, negative AB sine alpha. I uh, take vertical component of this AB force. So negative BG, which is this force, and negative B is sine alpha. So negative BE, this is BF. Sorry, BF sine alpha equal to zero. So BF is equal to negative BG. I move all the noun values to the right side. So negative BG, negative AB sine alpha divided by sine alpha. So if I uh, put value of BG and AB, uh, I will get answer. So the BG will is negative 0.347L negative uh, into negative uh, 1.782L sine 41. Point. 190 degree divided by sine 41.19 degree. So if I calculate this all noun values, uh, I will the answer will I will get answer BF will equal to 1.255 L, which is in completion. This negative sign show that the uh, BF is not in tension. I was assumed that this BF is in tension, but it is not in tension, it is in compression. So the summation of all horizontal forces equal to 0 so AB cos alpha plus B F uh, AB uh, AB cos alpha horizontal component of this force and horizontal component of this force and this is one horizontal okay so AB cos alpha B F cos alpha plus B C equal to 0 so B C equal to AB cos alpha plus B F cos alpha so BC will equal to negative BF cos alpha. It is negative. So one uh, at the place of AB, I put its value 1.728 L, 7L2L cos 41.19. Negative uh, is its negative and uh, BF value is negative 1.255 cos 41.19. So BC will equal to 2.285L, which is in tension. Uh, my assumption was right, it is in tension because the I get answer with a positive sign. Now I will take joint D to find the force CF. 
okay so summation of all horizontal forces is equal to zero so bc uh, equal to bc plus cd there is only these two forces horizontally equal to zero so dc or cd will equal to bc cd will equal to the value uh, i put the value of bc 2.285 l which is intention so i was uh, said that when the two forces are at the same line of action and the third force at 90 degree of these forces then the third force will be equal to zero so like that cf is equal to zero no i will take this huge giant which uh, one two three four five six seven on which seven forces acting on this joint okay so it's quite uh, easy but it is so long but it's quite easy the summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero i will take all the vertical forces like more like uh, uh, vertical component of this force, 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 and this force as a whole. Okay, so B E sine alpha negative T negative T sine this sine 10 sine 10 plus C F plus D F sine alpha negative T sine 45 equal to 0. So in this all values all the values are known except this df value so i will uh, left it at the left side and all the value i will move to the right side for uh, because this all value are known from this value i will find df so l sin 10 at the place of t i put here l sin 10 negative cf plus t sin 45 it is also L sine 45 plus DBF sine uh, alpha divided by sine alpha. So DF equal to uh, L sine 10 negative CF is equal to 0 plus L sine 45 negative into negative um, uh, 1 point at the place of so BF. I put its value 1.255 L sine 41.19 divided by sin 41.19 so if i calculate this all values d will comes out 2.592 uh, l which is uh, five which i get answered the positive sign that means that it is not intention it is the it is, my assumption was right it is intention now summation of all horizontal force acting on this giant equal to zero i will take all the component horizontal component of these forces angled forces and i will take these two horizontal forces as well so uh, negative fg also horizontal force and the component of t cos 10 and the component of bf cos uh, alpha and the component of df cos alpha plus ef which is whole is a whole horizontally act so plus T cos 45 equal to 0. So EF is not known and the all, all other values are known. That's why I move all the other value are to the right side. So FG which have value and T also have value. BF also have value and DF is also have value. Alpha also have value 41.19 and T cos 45. Okay. So e f equal to at uh, the place of f g i put its value uh, 2.326 l plus l cos 10 plus 1.255 l cos 41.19 plus 2.9 cos 41.19 uh, minus l cos 45 okay if i calculate this all that is from here to here and the answer i will get answer uh, which is ef equal to 4.942 l so i will take giant a to find uh, force d e okay so i uh, explained earlier that uh, when two forces are in the same line of action the third force 
at the uh, make an angle with these two forces 90 degree the, then the third force which make an angle of 90 degree with the uh, other two forces which is in the same line of action that uh, then the third force will be uh, equal to zero so it is equal to zero shortcut way of this okay thank you very much